One of the main advantages of the Stepwell Custom AFO is the orthopedic grade leather that we use. First of all, it's all uh, vegetable tan, so there's no chemicals. It's hypoallergenic, and therefore um, you're going to reduce the occurrence of any contact dermatitis that a patient might get from utilizing a uh, leather style AFO. Additionally, because there's no chemicals or dyes, this has a uh, breathability, a natural breathability, so it does have some air exchange. And because of the orthopedic grade nature of the leather that's being used, the AFO itself is all heat thermal moldable, so you can use your existing diabetic um, uh, heat gun that you're using to heat up diabetic inserts or something similar, and you can actually spot stretch and manipulate this custom AFO and it will maintain its shape. Additionally, the inside is just one single piece of orthopedic grade leather. There's no seams to give any irritations um, to patients that might have an insensate foot with uh, neuropathic symptoms or who are prone to ulceration. One of the main differences between this Stepwell custom AFO and other gauntlet leather style AFOs on the market is the custom pretibial shell right here and the main reason for this custom pretibial shell is to limit the motion of the tibia over the talus and to disperse pressures on a greater area so as to not produce any skin breakdown. It does not exceed seven pounds per square inch so no ulcers will be formed with the use of this device. Mm -hmm. So one of the main advantages of the Stepwell Custom AFO is its limited um, motion control. Therefore, it's semi-flexible or semi-rigid. We are casting the patient in a neutral position and allowing limited supination and pronation through the gait cycle. Um, so what we have is a uh, device that will start to crease slightly similar to an intrinsic triaxial hinge that allows limited pronation and supination like I mentioned. The device will allow normal gait and is able to be put on patients bilaterally due to the fact that, of, that it has uh, limited flexibility. So bilateral presentation is not a problem. Additionally, what we would like to do is titrate the use of the device based on the patient's presenting symptoms. Some of the patient's symptoms may not present themselves until certain activities are being engaged in or a certain number of steps during the day. So the concept of part-time bracing or task-specific bracing is particularly uh, fundamental to the use of this, of this device. Recap briefly the Stepwell Custom AFO. The first thing is that the device is semi-flexible to allow normal gait mechanics and can be prescribed bilaterally. Secondly, it's fabricated out of, out of orthopedic grade leather, uh, therefore it doesn't come in any colors because there's no dyes, it's all vegetable tanned and it's breathable. And it also makes it so it can uh, be adjusted using just a simple heat gun. Next, the custom pretibial shell. Uh, not only is it an unweighting portion of the device, but it allows some motion, reducing the motion of the tibia over the talus and disperses pressures over a greater area. And fifth, it does break in similarly to a baseball glove. So it does start to mold and conform and allow that limited motion again that we've discussed uh, once the patient has started to use it. As far as the scope of practice for uh, pedorthics, the ABC and the certified pedorthists uh, scope of practice does say that excluding footwear, the proximal height of a custom pedorthic device does not extend beyond the junction of the gastrocnemius and the Achilles tendon. And that's how this device has been fabricated, not to extend beyond that point. We are able to have a slightly shorter device to meet this scope of practice because of the custom pretibial shell. The circumferential control allows us to disperse those forces on the dorsal aspect of the foot instead of having to go higher up into the lower leg.